This is Twit. And now it's time for another Distro Hoppers Corner. This week, I'm going to talk to you about a fun little distro just for you KDE fans out there, specifically you legacy KDE fans. Eric's, spelled A-R-I-X, is a live Linux distro with KDE 1.1.2, a desktop environment. Oh, wow. Old timers <laughs> like me that have been using Linux for a while, this brings back some nostalgia. KDE 1 came out in 1998, year after I graduated high school. Just so you all know how old I am now, I guess. Uh, so I start and I started using Linux in 1999 and then KDE 2 came out in, in 2000. So we're going back like about 25 years, give or take a year, depending. I don't know when 1.1.2 came out exactly, but about 25 years. So you might be thinking that's fun and all, but what possible use can a 25 year old desktop have today? Can it even work with today's technology? Well, the desktop environment may be old, but the underlying Linux is built on top of the current Debian 13 with the 6.6 .6 kernel, which means you can install modern applications. Uh, when I was testing it out this week, I installed the latest Firefox using just a simple apt install Firefox-ESR and everything worked just great. Right now, uh, this is only a live live disk distro, live USB distro, I guess, uh, and not installable. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, there's any plans to make it installable, but if not, I was thinking, you know, maybe I could try one of those ISO tools uh, to make to make something installable to make your live uh, install going, or or someone else can run with that, or or work with uh, the Eric's guy and and make it form or something, but. Uh, but for now, the process is simple. Uh, burn the ISO to uh, to a USB or whatever, or boot it up in a in a VM like I did, and you will have two choices. You'll you'll have uh, two logins to choose from: the built-in uh, Eric's user and the root user. And then the password for both of those out of the box is just the number one. But uh, the one thing that caught me is the password field does not echo back or show any indication that you are typing in the box. Maybe that's how it was back then. I don't remember, but it's caught me off guard for a while. I had to ask the uh, creator. I'm like, it's not taking my password. It's, it's not working. I could type everywhere else. And he, he told <laughs> me it's, it's, it's not echoing back. So all you do is you select your user tab or make sure you're in the password box hit one and hit enter it'll log in for those watching you can see uh behind me the the eric's um desktop right here so it's got all the great things in it <laughs> from katie and I, I i don't think i'll be making this my daily driver anytime soon <laughs> probably not <laughs> it is fun to remember how things used to be and you could i guess yeah so I, I want to say somebody did a, an April Fool's about something like this, actually. And then I also saw a theme um, where it's a very throwback theme. And I would say probably system themes are the way to do this rather <laughs> than running ancient 1.x KDE software. Yeah, and maybe that's why it's just a live uh, distro right now. So, but you can go back and see how it really is, and not just the theme. You can really <laughs> dig into it and just see what the past was like. Yeah, and that's that's neat to do every once in a while. Um, don't don't connect it to the internet, but <laughs> as with all retro computing, be very careful connecting to the internet. Connect it to your local network and make sure there's a firewall up. Pretty much. <laughs> hey, we should talk Linux. It's the operating system that runs the internet, but your game consoles, cell phones, and maybe even the machine on your desk. But you already knew all that. What you may not know is that TwitNow is a show dedicated to it, the Untitled Linux Show. Whether you're a Linux pro, a burgeoning sysadmin, or just curious what the big deal is, you should join us on the Club Twit Discord every Saturday afternoon for news, analysis, and tips to sharpen your Linux skills. 